Oh boy. And you would think that sleeping in is some kind of crime. It always seems like we're getting up in the middle of the night, getting out here at first light. Quite honestly, it really is the best time. Uh, starting our descent down into Elk Falls Pond off of Marmot Passage. Been a really, really nice trail this morning. It's funny, you get into these little areas here and that cold air just diving off the top of the ridge line turns into a refrigerator. Other than that, gosh, just really, really beautiful day. Sun came up, blue sky, looking good, looking good. And now we're going to head down to Elk Falls Pond. Climb up the other side over there to get over to Elk Falls. All right, see you at the falls. So if, if you watch the original video when we first came over here, this was darn near impassable, even with ice spikes. The ice was so thick, so hard. The spikes were having a hard time grabbing it, but that wasn't as bad as this is just all really steep downhill and rocky. So it was kind of unnerving to try and come down into this area. Obviously today, it is dry. We are headed down to the viewing area where the falls are. It's like our second attempt at coming here. You're basically at the base of Chimney Rock here. The falls should be on the other side, but we shall see.
Well, that was certainly fun. Had a nice little lunch. But, as time moves on, the people are starting to show up. So it's time to move on. Of course, the debate is now underway. Last time we were here, it was full on snow and ice and winter time. And its own unique beauty, no doubt. So, you gotta ask yourself, compared to this trip, and compared to the last one, if you saw the video, if not, there's a link in the description down below. Uh, you'd have to compare the two and the vote is out Which one do you think is more picturesque? Uh, it's definitely nice being on dry ground no doubt but uh, You know the snow adds an element of uh, uniqueness that we're not getting today, so I'm almost gonna vote for the snow mm -hmm. 